Hey everybody, it's Nerdy Nick, and today I'm bringing you the first review for Dying Light. I haven't got to play a whole lot of it, but I'm gonna do two reviews for the game. One when I finally like beat the game, and then this one that's right now. Um, right now I am playing with two of my friends. Um, we're just doing the campaign together all, all as one. Um, this game is really good, guys. So far it's been awesome. It's gonna be really... I can't wait to play the rest of this game. Um, there's not a point in this video, but... Um, there is a part where you can do quarantine zones and it's kind of like a raid system you fight a bunch of zombies and you gotta raid them and you gotta uh, find supplies for your tower and stuff like that um the storyline is awesome so far i'm really enjoying the storyline and just for the short few hours that i have with it it's been an awesome story um the game so far has been awesome um, the melee combat system is awesome it's really easy uh, learning the parkour, it may seem hard at first, but then you end up catching on, and it's really super easy to do. And what just happened, my friend just fell through the roof upstairs. Um, but other than that, guys, this game is sweet so far. I, I'm, I really can't wait to play the rest of the campaign, do all the other missions. Um, I'm blanking, breaking into a police van right now. And um, it's... This game is awesome. The zombies are so realistic. I'm pretty sure I got scared maybe twice already. And I was also playing at night, so it was pretty intense and pretty scary. But, yeah, for those of you who have the pre-order, if you pre-ordered the game at GameStop, and you do not, you put your codes in, but you do not see your items, this is the way to fix that. To do so, you must go to your dashboard by pressing your home Xbox button. You press start on the game and hit manage game and then go all the way to the right where it says all add-ons and that will be your three weapons will be there and you just click on them and you hit install and then when you reload your game your items will be there. Um, also for this review there's challenges I'm actually doing one now where I gotta kill 40 zombies um, for this guy he, um, he makes you kill 40 zombies so he can be like a survival guy for people who need help. Um, but there's over tons of side quests. We did like three of them already. There's um, the story campaign, of course, and then there's like we gotta rescue the survivors and save them. Um, but it's it's a really cool game, guys. I'm enjoying it. And as soon as I play the rest of the campaign, beat the campaign, a couple side quests, um, I will make sure you guys see um, the rest of it. I'll give a better review of the game. There's not a whole lot I can give you right now because there's not a whole lot being done. Um, there's also zombie statues in the game. There's uh, map collectibles. There's notes. There's voice recording, battle journals. All that stuff is just kind of piled into this game, and it's really cool. It gives you a lot to do when you beat the campaign, but obviously I'm finding them before that. But it is... This game's really good, guys. Let's say it's the best game for the 2015 other than that guys enjoy the rest of this video um like and subscribe uh tell your friends about me i'm on facebook and instagram i'm always posting on there i'm also on twitter um other than that guys always remember um keep gaming and just enjoy the rest of this video guys